And now it's time for Coach's Comments presented by Southside Auto Tech. Cristiano Simonetta with you, joined alongside by Stars head coach Rocky Russo. And Rocky, a big win for your group this afternoon against the Tri-City Storm, a well-known rival for your club. What is it about this team and second periods, a goal differential in the preseason of 6 to nothing in the middle frame? Well, you know what? I, I think when it comes down to exhibition games, you're, you're constantly trying to learn from what's happening and, and you're trying to teach. And so... You know, in, in both first periods yesterday and today, we didn't come out great. Today, particularly, I thought we played really individual hockey. We turned way too many pucks over going into their zone, and, and they're such an aggressive team. They're going to they're gonna attack you on transition, and we didn't put pucks behind their D. We were, we were trying to play an individualistic style of hockey that, that doesn't blend with what we're trying to do here from a cultural standpoint. So... You know, you get the chance with a with a, an intermission to go talk about some things, and and uh, and you're just trying to learn and teach at this point of the season. And so, I think our response has been the most important thing, right? It's it's not the teaching; it's whether they're going to accept the teaching and and make those changes on the fly. And and what we've seen from this group is a willingness to to make changes, to learn, to grow, and then. When you get when you get the results you want by doing things the right way, then that feeds into uh, into a long term change, and I think you're seeing that with us here early on. I think the results for the penalty kill can be summed up, you know, perfect, successful, 11 for 11 in the preseason. What is it about that group of four, but also the net miners that's made it easier for you to watch whenever your team's down a man or two? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't necessarily believe maybe we earned all those penalties today, but. Uh, you know, I, I've preached to the guys about about making sure that our energy is spent on on things we can control, and certainly officiating is not something that we can control. So, you know, whether you like the calls or you don't like the calls, today is a great opportunity to work on your penalty kill against such a, a potent power play with, with what Tri-City has out there. So, you know, I think we've done a good job of a couple things. Number one, we're winning a lot of face-offs on, on our, our PK, which is leading to that good first clear. Uh, we're not giving the blue line up when, when they're coming through the neutral zone. We're forcing dumps. And then when we do get the opportunity, we're getting good 200-foot clears. So I think, uh, I think the, the principles behind a good penalty kill are there right away. And, and so we're just going to continue to grow. Maybe we'll get a little bit more aggressive trying to look for some offense as the season progresses. But I've never been a coach that that's, wants to generate offense. I want to keep it out of our net during the PK, and, and I think we've obviously done a really good job of that so far. All three pieces in the Youngstown trade from a couple of weeks ago or a month ago, whenever it was, scored in today's game. Jack Sillich, Jack Larrigan, and Mason Marcellus. Between those guys and the returners, how excited are you for this group right now following these two preseason games? Well, you know, you obviously I wasn't here last year, so I don't necessarily have a a close connection with somebody like Chase Patilla, but it's always hard when you trade a veteran player regardless of the situation and and so we had to make sure that the the pieces that were coming back in that trade were going to be what benefited us in the long term and and you know I, I'm really happy with all three of those guys they've been able to affect the game in, in all all three situations PPPK five on five and uh, and so when you add those three guys to a group of of returning veterans that now have a lot of experience in this league, of course you're going to be excited about it. But, you know, you've got to make sure that, that we, we really start to believe in what we're trying to accomplish here. And, and you can have great players, but if you don't have great culture, you generally don't have a lot of success. So that's our, our biggest challenge now is getting the buy-in from the guys and, and understanding that you still have to stay positive and work towards our goals even when things aren't going well. And we've had that chance in the first period yesterday, had it again here in the first period today, and, and our response in both of those situations was awesome. One last question for you, Rocky. Over the next two weeks, your team will not play a preseason game. You play a scrimmage on the 17th at the Icebox for seven-star members, season ticket holders. So until September 23rd, what is going to be the one thing your staff presses for this group before game one of the regular season? habits good habits in in all situations and 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 for us that's what we talked about uh during the intermission is is making sure that our process is proper making sure that our habits are good 
And, and when you're doing all those things, then, you know, your results kind of take care of themselves. I know that sounds cliche, but you can't be a results-driven organization and have success because what you find is, okay, we played terrible and we won, so we should be happy and we shouldn't look to, we, to improve, or, or we lost, but we played really good. So for us, it's all about our process. It's having good habits in all three zones. It's, it's making sure that we're mentally engaged at all times. And so that's what we're going to spend the next two weeks working on and, and, uh, you know, hopefully we're, we're where we need to be when it comes time to get to Pittsburgh.